Okay, uh, we're continuing our lesson on beginning painting or the basics, fundamentals of painting, whether what, whether it's watercolor, oil, acrylic, whatever. Uh, first of all, let's try to learn to draw something the way it looks, and then later I'm gonna I will show you how to move into imagination and abstraction. But I think it's important to first learn to see things as they are and then change them later. But if you want, you can bypass that and go right into imaginative painting. But if we desire to paint something realistic, like a, a face, uh, like this, or if we want to paint an apple, uh, it's very important that we learn how to uh, really see the truth of what it is we're looking at. So, uh, in our last lesson on this, uh, learn to see what's dark, medium dark, medium light, light. These are values. Light value, medium value, dark value, and of course white. So if we if we go now move beyond the box, this is a very simple subject, but now we're going to try to move into painting something like an apple. Now if I take this apple here and we want to paint this apple, that certainly is more complicated than painting this box. So uh, let me show you something that we can do to make this easier to paint. If we put a strong light source on our apple here like this it dramatically see the cast shadow so that that and if we put this up at an angle you know we can get a much uh, much easier uh, make it much easier the higher contrast there is in our subject the greater the lights and the darks the easier it is for us to uh, paint our picture so if I take a picture of this and it's easier to work from a photograph and uh, take a picture of this and I convert it into a black and white you can see what we have here so that's a fairly simple subject so let's see how I might paint this uh, the basic thing is the box is that first of all if we're going to paint this uh, we have we start out with a light shape a, a light circle like this that's the lighter value there so we need to uh, to see the lighter value see that there we do the light value first and let's dry that off. Okay, we've dried that off. Let's do the next stage. So the next stage would be a medium dark. And again, if we just look at our picture here, the medium dark kind of comes in through here like this, and it wraps around. There's a little bit of a highlight right here. We need to be aware of how wet or dry our brush is. So that goes in there like that. That's stage two. Uh, all right, let's dry that off. Stage three, like with the box, we, except we'll have four stages here. The box is medium dark, so let's go here to our medium dark, which fits in here like this. Get a little bit darker here. Come in like this here. We work around. Gets a little bit darker in through here. And a little bit darker in through here and through here like this. And work around like that. That's our medium dark. Okay. So light, medium light, medium dark. Okay, that's three stages. The last stage, of course, is to go dark. And again, choosing a subject that is not too complicated is so critical in learning how to paint. So we put in our dark color now, like right here. It's a little bit darker in through here, a little bit darker through here like that. And we get a little bit darker through here like this here and uh, move that around then of course we have our shadow which is quite dark that's going to come in here like this and let's make that shadow dark and then we're going to move on to our portrait so so there is a simple uh, painting of of the apple and you can see how, how quickly that that really uh, comes together we could get a little bit darker here so we could see the see the edge where the apple ends there We'll pull that around like that. So there's our apple. And again, learning how to paint is quite easy if you keep it simple. Now let's go to the portrait. So again, here is the portrait. And again, that's a little difficult, but let's make it easier. Uh, so if we go here like this, I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna go like this and I'll do the same thing as I did with the apple, but now it's a portrait. Okay. More, more, a more complex subject certainly. So this, the difficulty is going up, and again, the same thing occurs here. If we start out with our, we could do a light drawing first, just to give us an idea of what we're going to do here. So we need, uh, we need to draw the face. 
so that the head's going to come around here like this. It comes down here like this here. Here's the end of our, our painting if we're going to paint it just the way it looks. And so it's going to come down about like this here. And let's put in our medium value now. This really only has three values. So it has a medium value up here like this. It has a medium, kind of a medium value that goes through here like this. And we simply block in the the medium values, a little bit of a medium value through here. Again, this involves learning uh, how to draw and knowing how to draw what we see. We come down here like this. That comes down here like this. And take that same medium value. We work it on down. His nose comes over here. And this is why it's so important to learn how to draw. This uh, little bit part of his his uh, nose comes down here like this, or the side of his cheek. His mouth is over here like this. Cast shadow comes through here like this. And then we come around here like this here. And the chin comes around like this. And that essentially is the... Uh, uh, the medium value. So let's put that in here. This will all go dark here. So it looks pretty sloppy, but you can see the beginning of the face coming out. Let's try that off. Okay, now the dark, now this just has light, medium, and dark. So now we're going to put in our darks. And let's try to get this, uh, holding this up here. Let's be a little bit more accurate here with the darks. They matter quite a bit. And so we put, uh, again, drawing. Uh, you can trace this if you want. I permit my beginners to trace. A lot of people don't like that, but we're going to come in here and trace, put that dark in here like that. We're going to bring our mouth in here like this. And uh, if you do trace, uh, I require that my more advanced students move away from tracing and learn how to do what I'm doing right here, and that is just learn to to paint it as you see it rather than depending on uh, a grid or tracing or some kind of a, a system that helps us out. See, now we're putting putting the dark in through here now, and once the darks come in there like this, you can see how the face is coming together. We darken this up here. Like this, this comes down in through here like that. And quickly you can see how a few lines in here for the hair, maybe. Get a little bit darker through here. This gets darker through here like that. We come down here like that. Very simple, really. If you know how to draw and we can get our darks and our lights right, we just block that in here like that. This comes around like this. Make sure the brush isn't too wet or too dry and the paint needs to be gooey and soft and thick. And we come around like this. We're here like this here. Darken that up here. And that's very sloppy, but it is the, uh, the essence of you know his face is right here a little bit of a shadow there I missed and a little bit of a line in here and there is Fred and you can see how quickly that comes together it's the same principle again that we did here but that's much more complex okay that's it for this lesson